Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having a great weekend. Just a disclaimer, um, we have put some DIY um, mozzie nets up in my sewing room so because we get a nice breeze from the little window in here but you know bees fly in wasps fly in stink bugs mosquitoes and everything and it's that time of the year when they're going crazy so we've put the diy mozzie nets up it's fantastic it's just there's a little bit of a breeze and occasionally my window bangs so just be prepared for it i just thought i'd let you know right so today we're up to day 61 and um actually two people suggested this um it's lilac and purple colors and the one person is sammy sammy jared she has samantha jared she has a youtube channel here and she loves purple i know so let me see who the other one was um so 58 i think was sammy sammy gave me a long list of things um so i will do some of her other ones um at a later date and then the other person was june lilac and purple colors the same so that's what we're doing today of course of course i went down the rabbit hole again and i've made myself a little bundle to play with so this is it it's yummy so these are papers um old uh i don't know if that one was a wallpaper but i actually changed the color and I love the colours that I was able to get. And I put that in because I like those sort of tones um, with purple. This is one of my own antique envelopes. Absolutely love that. Um, that, I can't remember whether that was, it was a public domain painting. I can't remember from which website. This was a sample book. I changed the colour of that. That's one of my antique note letters. Different. I put a different one in every time I put them in um because i've got many of them i bought a bundle one of my doilies this is a beautiful um little painting it was a painting for embroidery for waistcoats and that sort of thing uh, and i've also changed the colors i've changed the colors in some of the things to get my more purple tones of course we have to have butterflies we've got one bird uh, more of my letters here's another one of those for the waistcoat um this i changed the color to get my purple tones and then some bigger papers um this is from the new york public library and i changed the color um this one the, i also changed the color of this it was a like a bookend paper and then uh this i think this was a fragment for a wallpaper um and then this is a sample book and then this is a lace that i changed the color i may i may or may not use it but we'll see um so today I wasn't quite sure what to make, but I'm thinking, 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 I might make, um, it's kind of going to look like an envelope to start off with, but um, it's actually going to end up as um, something that goes in the center of a signature that closes. So we'll be working it out as I go. I've got, so I printed this one. And I've already torn off the borders, a little bit crooked, of course. I've printed this one on um, 120 GSM copy paper. So it's a little bit um, better quality. Probably didn't need to because that's going to be the inside. And I'm going to collage on the outside. And I was just working out kind of like my sizing. I'm actually going to do it. This is a vertical pattern. I'm actually going to do it vertically it's a little oh it's a little bit small that's okay i'll make that smaller that fold there this is kind of like if you were making an envelope okay but we're not going to close it like an envelope okay so it looks like an envelope but it's not going to be an envelope i bet i've lost you all anyway we'll do it so i've got to tear off about that much we're just going to wing it when so i'm going to tear off about two and a half inches i think so i'm just lining it up on my mat kind it's very crooked I do very crooked things. I've got crooked eyes. You know that. Um, so we're just going to tear that off there. Oops, hope I didn't make a mistake. Right. And then I think I'll fold this over here. I'm going to have a bit less of a flap. That's all. And I'm going to crease it. I've, I'm going the wrong way. That I wanted that to be on the inside. So we'll fold it that way. Where's my crease? Line it up and fold it. Just get on with it. 
okay um i probably don't actually don't need to do the folding yet i'm confused let's just okay rewind we're going to collage it first and then we'll do the folding okay so that's my up make sure i know which way is my up and sorry guys i'm going to collage first i did get confused for a second that's some old book page there would that be a surprise i don't think so okay that was another thing i was mucking around with i did a bit of collaging um with uh, some just scraps that i had lying around and i was going to use that but then i decided i wanted flat so i scrapped that i'll use that for something else hmm. a sip of water okay we've got lots of nice things here to play with really nice things so we can start ripping so these are all printed on um, 120 GSM. And then let me see. Oh, let's start with some of these printed on the lighter paper and put those aside, even though I might use some of those. Um, so, yeah, I wanted it to be a little bit stronger, but you could print it on regular copy paper and um, and then and then um, just collage on it and it'll be nice and strong regardless. So I think I'll just put my ruler there and rip right across and just tear across there and I'll put that over there. Okay, and I'm going to put that there or do I want such a big piece maybe I don't just a minute hold your horses I'm not going to use that one because that one's on the inside that can go on back of tags and things like that oh that one's nice too and I, oh I like them all and of course I got myself enough stuff to make you know I can do more purple like there's more things but I just thought there has to be a limit there really does. I might have a bigger piece of this. Because that's going on the edge, I might try and make it a little bit straight. And that one I'll just... And I'll rip off enough there that I'm going to have, um, you know, enough scrap to do something with it. Okay, and I'm going to glue on glue that on and then get moving now just make sure I've got it the right way yes because you know me I do things upside down and this could also be like a standalone project in the sense you don't have to put it in like a journal but um, I thought it'd be a nice little fun thing to have in the center of a signature so um, what was I gonna say who knows who knows yeah, oh, because I want to put this, you know, it might, well, probably won't go in any of the journals that I'm doing right now because I'm not doing all purple. But um, I don't want it to be too big because um, just say I'm altering a book, it's, you know, they might not be that big. So that's why I'm making it smaller. But you could certainly have a, a horizontal pattern like this one and fold it all in the opposite direction and make something that's bigger. Okay, so we've got our first piece of paper down. And then after that, I think we need a bit of book page, don't we? We do. I'm telling you now, we need it. That breeze is so nice. It's quite hot today. It's probably 27, maybe. And then your perception, of course, um, is often higher than what it actually is. Um, so Lulu's off at the beach. Steph's in the bedroom. Um, strumming away on his guitar and I thankfully cannot hear him now he's a very good guitar player I will give that to him but he plays the same song over and over and over and over and it drives me bananas because I hear that and it can be a song I even like but you know it's it's not even the whole song it's one it's like the the solo or you know that sort of thing in the song and you just hear it repeatedly until he gets it and it really after the, a day of it, just makes you go bananas. Well, that's what happens to me anyway. So we're going to have some more book page on the other side. I like to balance it, even though you won't be able to see it because it'll be um, 
facing in the opposite direction. So what is everybody up to for the weekend? I hope you're all well. I've, I've caught up on a lot of comments on YouTube, thank heavens, because I was really, really far behind. Like I was, <laughs> I answered some yesterday and I was like, oh my goodness, I was a week behind even. I've never been so far behind. So um, there, were, there was one video that I thought I had answered the comments, but I hadn't answered hardly any of them. So I thought, very shameful of me. But, you know, I had to because I just had to feel like I was starting to slowly maybe catch up on things. Not quite, because yesterday I fell off the wagon because I went down the rabbit hole of looking for things on the internet. And I'm going to put this, but I don't think I want such a big piece of it. I'm going to put a little bit there. Maybe, no, maybe I'll put it, line it up there. Or maybe I'll put it over there. No, here. Probably need to change my page. So do we have any plans this weekend? We don't tonight. Um... We'll just stay in and maybe I'll get some. I, 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 so I wanted to say, I haven't said this yet. I um, I came across, now maybe it was in my suggested videos. I must subscribe to Treasure Books. I always forget. Um, I need to subscribe to Natasha, I think her name is. And I know lots of you guys watch her. Um, and I came across her video. I wonder why I came across it. Because I haven't sus subscribed. Must, anyway. It's neither here nor there. I did come across it. Um, and uh, she did a video. I love these sample, fabric samples. She did a video um, showing how she organises her, like, sort of plans. She doesn't plan her day in the sense that she um, gives herself a time. Because I've thought about that. Maybe I need to give, say, between this time and that time I do this. But then I don't know if that will work for me because I do... I do have to go a lot, um, I do have to go with the flow a bit and I have to sort of do what I feel like doing because otherwise um, it just doesn't happen for me. It doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't work out for me. So um, I can't say that at 10 o'clock I need to do my video because there might be something else that I'm in the middle of um, that I'm doing and I can't and therefore I won't go and do my video or if I do, um, it'll cause me anxiety. So anyway, I digress. So I was watching Natasha's video and she has a wonderful system. Although I feel, I do think that she did mention she has other further systems within the system and that she could do videos of the system, the other systems within the system. But anyway, I saw this part of the system where she has this notebook um, and she divides each page up um, into different sections, like a few sections, not too many, um, for the day. And, and, um, oh, which would I use? I think I might use, well, I'll use a bit of both. Um, she divides the day up into the, the sections and, so, and what she has like two columns and one column she has, um, the home. So like cooking dinner, go and do the grocery shop, all that sort of stuff. And I'm sure to a lot of you that it's just like, so easy all of this but i'm a very disorganized person um well not yeah i am because i have a lot of stuff to do and and as you know i've told you before i sort of the more stuff i have to do the more i procrastinate the more um yeah i wasn't just not wanting to tear that off because then i was sort of taking away the color wasn't i so um, anyway i'll glue that down there uh, yeah, so um, she has one side for home, and so that's like shopping and maybe a cleaning task and or a declutter task and that sort of thing. And then on the other side, she has like, what did she call it in her, I don't know if it was in her craft room or something like that. Um, something like that. And so that's what she had, like, you know, videos and um, orders or I don't know what, I don't, I'm not quite sure that sort of thing on the other side and then down below um there were things like of oh, personal like doing exercises you know maybe doing a course or something like that and then there and then she had things like um purpose of the day notes on today and golden moment 
So I'm not sure if I'm going to do those. I do. I did do the do those spaces, and I did do purpose for the day because I need I need to write that down. And so, <laughs> do you know what my purpose was? I did, I've only done three days today. I didn't even write anything yet. And then and then she just and I really liked it because I like the way. So she has all this list down the columns, and then anyway, I'll I, if I remember, I'll I'll um. I'll um, put the link to the video so you can go and see better. I'm sure I'm confusing you. I'm just gas bagging while I'm working. That's really what it is. But um, anyway, so um, and so then uh, she writes this big long list in the morning when she's having her breakfast. But I can't do that because I have my breakfast late. So I have to. I sort of um, start writing it even at night. At the end of the when I've high because what what she does is when she's completed a task she highlights it with a highlighter and I like that because I've, I've tried lists before and then I have to cross them up and off and then they become really ugly isn't that silly but they do they become really ugly because you've got these big you know marks going across the pages and they're gross and so then I don't like looking at them okay so I've done all the collaging for the moment now I've got to remember what's next because I've been chatting away and not remembering what I'm doing okay so this is my front oh there's my crease I, no that's not a was that meant to be a crease there? I don't think so. Um, so anyway, um, so Natasha then, um, she highlights away. So we're folding over here, like so. And I need my bone folder. Where has it gone? Well, I have my little card here. I'll just use my card. So she, so, oh my goodness, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so she highlights everything whenever she does anything, whether it go and do the food shopping or um, and then you fold this over here just inside the line. You don't want to be flush with the line. Just fold it inside the line. OK, right. It's not straight, so let's straighten it. Yep, so she highlights away the things that she's done. And then in the evening, she um, reflects how the day went and, you know, like what she got done and all that sort of stuff um and then the next morning she wakes up natasha wakes up and i don't like saying she all the time it's like she's the cat's mother um natasha wakes up and then she has her brekkie again isn't that pretty um just admiring my handiwork um she has her brekkie again and and then um writes the next day's list that day's list the day at hand and everything that she can think of that she needs to do is written down on the list and so then so we're going to fold it up here now i haven't given you any measurements i'm just using a piece of copy paper and um and i'm just eyeballing it um so yeah so then and that's just how she organizes herself so i've been doing it for for um three days except today i haven't written anything down i've been doing it for three days and um you know, things happen, then you don't get everything done. It's a little bit stressful. Um, but I have actually gotten a lot done because of it. So this is what I'm going to be doing now. I'll actually show you maybe tomorrow in, the, in tomorrow's video. So that way you understand better. So this is what it's going to look like, guys. Okay. So let me recap because I was chatting. So we just collaged it. Do you want measurements? You're probably out saying, oh, I will need measurements. So, okay, my measurement is... Uh, eight and three quarters pretty much height and width eight okay i've folded up at the at the bottom i've folded up i think that's the bottom um one and a half inches and at the top in reality oh i've done one and a quarter inches at the top i've just eyeballed it i don't i don't care if it's not the same and that's nearly one inch on the side okay because this printout was slightly narrower than my copy paper so i needed i needed a bit more space now what I'm going to do here is I'll show you with the pencil. Look at this is Lulu's pencil from when she was little. So I need to cut this one out. So cut. I need to cut. I'm looking at my creases. So my crease is here. Okay. I need to cut because I confused you the last time. Cut this one out there. And I'm going to be cutting along my crease lines. I need to cut this little corner out. Cut. You can even do this exercise so you don't make a mistake and cut. And so that way we'll get this shape. 
We won't get that bit. We do that bit afterwards. I've shown you that before. So look, I'll show you here. This is my piece. I'm cutting this here, that there, that there, and that there. Okay, so if you haven't done it before and you find it confusing, just do what I did and write it down. So that way you don't make a mistake, especially considering that we've taken the time to collage this. Um, and if you want to be really do really perfect cutting, you can also use your cutter, you know, your your knife, your your blade thing, your sharp sharp blade thingy. But um, you know me, I don't care. Okay, and yep, yeah, so I, I I have gotten a lot more done. Thank you, Natasha. I don't think Natasha watches my videos, but thank you, Natasha. Um, that, that may help me if I don't fall off the wagon. I might fall off the wagon, which quite often happens. Well, it usually does happen, actually. Um, so we will see. But I thought it was a very good system for me because also, as Natasha said, um, she really enjoys crossing things off lists. And I think I do too. I think I will write it down on the list just so I can cross it off. Okay, so now we have to do another thing before we continue on. Um, that's okay there because it's not folded right to the line. But this is annoying because this here is right flush with my fold line. And so when I fold this over, it, first of all, it won't stay down as well. And then that'll slowly bend up. So we want to snip very very carefully just a teeny tiny little slither off just a teeny tiny little slither at an angle so it's get, getting very slightly wider and snip and we'll do the other side and it does not matter if it's not exactly the same who cares there we go so that that just stops those um shall we say crashing into each other when you fold that okay but then we're going to do the same here because see this here is hitting that so we need to do the same there and so and we'll also do this fold those ones over as well um snip those ones just so it looks nicer if they're at a very slight angle so what i normally do now this is quite stiff because i've been collaging so i think i'm going to eyeball it. normally i fold it over like so and make the you know make the bring them so they meet and then cut it so they're the same but this is quite thick i don't know if i want to do that i don't think i do so I'm just going to eyeball it. Well, actually, you could. What you could do. That's not it. You have to go. So can you just have a giggle while I try and figure this out? There we go. You put your lid like that. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll be more precise. We'll put our lids like this. Line it up and draw your little curve. So you get the nice curve going there. Because I can't put in my, I can't put it in my chomper because um, it doesn't, that won't work when you've got that kind of shape. Rightio, rightio. So yes, I'll try and remember to um, a link Natasha's video. That would be a good idea. Now I'm going to just snip a little bit off there as well as I go, just a tiny bit. And then go round, stay on the inside of my drawn line. There we go. And get a nice curve. So that is a helpful hint. There, there we are. For anyone who doesn't have a corner rounder, although you can't use it for this, because the corner rounder will not go in because of the flaps. Um, but anyone who doesn't have one, this is a way to achieve the rounded corners. I'm just going to go like this, and the, and they and then that way they're sort of all similar to one another. You know, I'm a bit slow at arriving to these tricky ideas, unless it's pointed out to me, and I remember because I don't always remember. Okay, so what's the weather like where everybody is? Mum, where mum is, it's freezing. And she said it was pretty cold in Sydney too. Mum had minus four. It's pretty cold. I said, Mum, that's colder than here almost. Pretty well, it is actually, because in the day, but then, but the difference between Australia and Italy. I mean, that would be a lovely envelope, wouldn't it? Um, the difference between Australia and Italy is, um, in Australia, usually depends where you are. Obviously, if you're further south, it might not be the case, but. 
in Sydney anyway, around Sydney, um, it go, the temperature goes up quite a lot. It can be very cold at night, but the temperature goes up a lot during the day. There's a big jump in temperature. Okay, so we've got our pretty purple. This is for you, Sammy, especially, because I know that you love purple. Um, so this is going to close. I thought these flaps could close on the inside, and that will close on the outside. All that jigging around and my little pieces curling up like so and this will be stitched into the center of the signature so that will be stitched in the in the signature okay and so i'm going to decorate the front and what i might do is i might put some well you could put a like a brad and um you could have a brad and a circle and have the you know the string that ties there. You could also have an eyelet there, um, but I'm not going to do that. I might just have, you know, I might just stitch down the center a little bit of baker's twine and it will just tie, I think. So inside what I wanted to do was do stuff inside and I need to decorate the outside. Now this video is going to be 10 hours long because I'm just sitting here really chatting, folding over flaps and not doing anything. I just wanted to do something different today. So we have all these lovely things that to use. That isn't that yummy. Um, and I just want to see what would I like on my, I'm going to put something on my cover. Oh, look at those butterflies. I like the butterflies. Let's cut those out. We'll cut those out. And you could stitch all around it if you want to, if you like that look. We probably won't do any stitching today, unless, of course, you know, I could change my mind. but Or I could forget what I said, because that's quite likely. Sometimes it's not an issue of changing your mind, it's just that I forgot. You know, from two minutes ago, I can't remember what I said. Okay, so... That's very crooked. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? That's very crooked cutting. I told you. And I'm even I'm even just like lining it up at the top. Oh, hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. Oh, it's still crooked. I'm gonna get my I give up. I'm gonna get my scissors. I'm convinced that the top of my, my chomper is crooked. I'm convinced. That is very pretty, but I'm going to chop off more because it's, I don't want it that wide. I'm going to chop that off too. So there's, we don't, we're not going to have any lines of those that sort of border on it. I'm going to chop it all off. Hopefully we don't chop any butterflies off. That would be just like me. Yes, I like that more. That is going to go there. I'm going to glue it on there. I'm not going to stitch around it. I could, but I'm not going to. I choose not to. That's my choice today. Whoops. I glued more of the book page than the actual thing. Oh, I love these colours, Sammy. They're absolutely gorgeous. Sammy and June, because they both requested the same. And I can't remember, there might be one down the track, purple and yellow, I think it was. So I might do that one as well. We'll get some nice yellow to go with it. Okay, so I just put my chomper down, I think, on the floor. Now, oh, I love that. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's not me, it's the papers that are pretty. Okay, we'll decide what to do there. Now, this is going in the center of my signature, so I need to remind myself of that. Now here, I think I would like to put a pocket. This would, oh, I know what I was gonna say. This could be a really nice thing. I'm sure you're saying get on with it, girly. This could be a really nice thing to, um, you know, put in a happy mail. How pretty would that be? And of course, it could be an envelope as well be a very nice envelope you could close it but I want this to open I want it to look like an envelope but open 
Okay, talk about distraction. So I need, I will, I, if I had like um, a little piece of uh, vellum, a nice little vellum envelope. I've got these big vellum envelopes, but where are they? I'm probably going to fall off my chair. Here they are, but they're big. They are big. Um, mm -hmm. well, 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 what can we do? They're big. This is all I found on Amazon, big ones. They're very nice. I've been enjoying, what I've been doing with these is I attach them to another page and they are actually a page in the journal and then you put a really pretty um, card in there and you can see it. But I'd like to use it as a pocket. So I might have to stitch, guys. I think I do. I have to stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little marking there. And I'm going to grab my chomper. And I'm going to chop it. And then I'm going to stitch down the side just to close it. But I'm not going to do any stitching on the actual... Um, Thing that I'm making now they do have uh, this sticky here so I think what I need to do is chop that off or fold I could fold it down but I don't you don't want to bulk things up any further than you have to so I mean I only have to chop a little bit off it's, it's gonna get stuck well I, oh, it's very very sticky oh my goodness it's so sticky I'll just lift that up there we go This is going to be like a three-hour video just with me bumbling. Okay, now there we go. Got the sticky off. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this at an angle, just like the other side, very slightly. And I'm going to snip off the corners. And this is going to be a little pocket. And I'll round that corner there just to make it look a little bit like the other one, even though it doesn't have that bit there. And I'm just going to grab my sewing machine. I'm not even going to bring it on camera. I've got my book, blue book pages in front. I'll just put that over there. Oh, gosh, God, i really got to get my act together. It is Saturday. Right, um, put it on two, two and a half, the stitch, and up we go. So I, I told you, I said I wasn't going to stitch, and here I am stitching. I don't consider it a lie, because at that moment, my intention was not to stitch. It just so happens that I ended up stitching. Now, I'm actually going to cut that off, because that annoys me. I'd like it to be without that, so it's more looking the same on both sides. And so that's going to be a little pocket on this side. It's going to be a double pocket. I'm going to grab the, um, I like that. I'm going to grab the Eileen's, is it Eileen's or Aileen's? Tacky glue if I can find it. Who knows where it's gone? Oh, it's gone. I don't have it. I don't have it. Oh, dearie me. Well, I can't grab that, can I? No. No. No grabbing of the island's glue. None. Is it under here? It has to be near. I used it yesterday. It must be near. There, oh, it is near. It's right in front of my face. Okay. Hopefully there's still some in there. And I'm just going to put my glue around three sides. It's very, very, a very um, gummy sort of blue. Look at that, it just pulls. It's, like, it's very tacky. Let's get enough on there. Oh, I better check if I'm recording. Oh, yes. Oh. Just pull that chunky bit off we don't want that come on so yes yeah, so Lulu's at the beach Steph's strumming the guitar I'm in here doing a video and we're not going out tonight 
I'm going to make burritos. Lulu loves burritos, so I'm making burritos. And I don't use, I use, um, I obviously don't know how to make tortilla. And I think it would be much too hard work for me to make tortilla. But I do make, I do make my own spices. I looked up um, the, you know, I just looked up tacos seasoning taco spices and i do make my own spices so that way at least you know we're not getting all the other additives and things in and it's actually very very nice and tasty so um that's good yes we like that so we're going to make those tonight and then tomorrow i think we might go up to the country to san leo again for lunch so we've got a pocket behind and a pocket in front look at that look at my fingers um yeah, pocket behind, pocket in front. Now, over here, I haven't decided what to do over here yet. I think we could have a, another pocket, or we could have a belly band, or we could have a... We could um, stitch down pages and have a notebook. Anyway, while I think about it, let's make stuff for over here. We'll do something over here. So, oh, I like this. So I'm thinking maybe... Just maybe, because I don't want to cover up the vellum. I don't want to cover that up because that defeats the purpose. It really does defeat the purpose. So, um, where's my little scissors? I did tidy up. I mean, honestly, I tidied up the table and things are just disappearing. Left, right and centre. Just do a whizzy, 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 whizzy fussy cut. I'm going to cut that one off, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. I like it. I can cut it off afterwards. So I'll just... So first of all, I'm ta just um, for those of you who are new to fussy cutting, I take away the excess. Because the excess gets in the way when you're cutting. I'm not going to be too detailed, but I am going to take away a bit. I, might as I should bring my, bas my rubbish basket. Now, that's not rubbish. That's just thrown in there. But they're big pieces, so they won't, they won't end up in the rubbish. Um, this will become quite flimsy when I cut it, so I'll cut that last. I'll cut all up here first. And I'm a lefty, so I just keep my scissors, or well, I try to, to the left of the image. Um, and so that way I get a little bit of the, the white around it, but not usually not too much. And if I do get too much, I just come back afterwards and... Um, and snip away. So just remind yourselves, trim away the excess first and then you can come back and do a bit of detail work afterwards if you need to. And I don't cut perfectly, I don't worry about it. It looks nice once you've glued it down. I mean, I do when I do see my sister's fussy cutting and I see her gluing it down, I think that does look very nice. But, you know, I don't have um, enough time. I need to do do other stuff, so I just tend to whiz. Yeah, so we might go up to San Leo tomorrow, I think. I'm going to get some more chamomile because I've, I don't think I've had such good sleep um, for a really long I can't even remember. Might have been since I had the melatonin, but then I woke up like I'd been hit, and I felt like I'd been hit by a truck after that. So um, I think the chamomile is very good, the fresh one. The bought one really doesn't have the same effect. Lulu was like, we should go and buy some. I'm like, but it doesn't, really doesn't work. Well, I haven't noticed that it works. Unless you buy maybe, you know, maybe the more expensive ones from the, the loot, you know, the the those sort of speciality tea shops. They might have a better one, but I, uh, we the closest speciality tea shop is up in San Marino. So now that's too tall, but I I'm going to snip off the bottom. But I would like to keep that bit. And the other thing I'd like to add. Oh, feeling hot. Um, the other thing I'd like to add, um, is just a little bit of um old book page. I think would be a nice contrast behind it. I'm sorry, guys, if it's taking me a long time because I'm my brain is all over the place. Oh, goodness. 
can't even get the gluing right today. What is going on? I need I need a wet one. That's what I need to get all the glue off my fingers. And then I'll, I'll, I'll snip that off afterwards. I'll glue it. Put the glue on first. And then I'll snip. The snipping will happen afterwards. I think that's easier. Yes. Put that there. So just a very slight decoration on this vellum envelope. I just looked up. Um, I actually just looked up on Amazon um, window envelopes because what I was hoping to find is you ladies, I think especially in the States, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen any English ladies using them, like Tina or anything like that. Um, but you have those envelopes with the really huge windows in them. I think I saw Gail with one. And I really like those. And so I was thinking I might find that. I like that. So that's going to go there. Very simple. I mean, I'm probably only going to use the tiniest portion of this kit. Um, now we could have something up here. What do we have? This could make a very nice pocket. But do we want another pocket? Because we've got a pocket behind and a pocket in front. Why don't I make something to go in the pocket while I'm thinking about it? That's a good idea. Put that over there. So, I might cut out this flower. I am loving the, these colours, Sammy. They, Sammy and June, I should say, because it was both of you. Um, really, really lovely colours to work with for a change. Love all these themes. This is going to be very simple. I'm hoping this is going to fit, actually. Or do I want the... I think I might like... And this will go behind, I think. I think I'd like the butterfly to go in the pocket. I told you, I changed my mind in like two shakes of a leg. The mind has... Whatever I was going to do, is it's, it's changed. I don't want it to be too big because it needs to fit in the pocket. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to be so pretty in there. I like that. I do like that. So I just need to back that. I'll back it with, oh, this, this I was going to say this fabric, this paper, because it's nice and power. You can write on it. Just put some glue on there. I'm not going to do any stitching. I'll stitch it afterwards. Um, oh, I was thinking I might put um, some lace on it, but I'm not going to because it needs to fit in the pocket. So it doesn't really need any more. It just needs to be glued onto there. I actually don't remember where this came on. This came from one of those websites that um, from the Susan Taylor Brown, Brown, sorry, Susan, Susan Taylor Brown series. Um, oh, what a ding dong. Look what I did. <laughs> oh, because this one I didn't. So that one I, okay, with the printing, this is the actual size of the, of the file. That one I printed, I just fit to page. So I lost some of it. So it went off the page. Um, and this one I didn't. So I've got that down the bottom. But that's okay. We'll just collage something over the top. It just gives us something else to do. I mean, I've got this bit of book page here that's super old. And I can just take this plain bit here. And that might cover it. And it, I think it does. See? It's got 81 on it. And that's just fine. We'll glue that there. 
This is how you fix your problems. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I can't tell you guys what peace of mind I have opening my window. No wasps are flying in. No stink bugs. No spiders. No mosquitoes. It's just the best. I mean, it's just the simple things just make you so happy. Steph thinks it's hilarious. I just keep walking around and looking at all of our fly screens. Until, of course, that, you know, because they're not expensive, they fall off or something, and then I'll be annoyed. Okay, so that's going to go in there. I will stitch around that one. That will go there. I feel like I want something up here. Tracy, why don't you have a purple label? A purple label would be great. I wonder if I've got a purple label. Oh, I, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's, it's going to be very long. You may have to stop and come back to it. Okay, we're not having red. I want, I'd love purple. I don't think I've got purple. Could have blue. I just feel like I'd like something there that someone could write something. I thought I might have something in, of interest in here. These are the old antique wine labels, but no, of course, there's not one. I don't mind that. Or... This one with the scenery. I think I like that one. That one's not going in the right direction. That one I've got, I need to print out some more smaller ones. That one's, okay, I'm going to put that one there. That's what I want. What are you up to, Steph? You done? Oh, I was just asking. Just taking an interest. Okay, so that's that. And I'm very happy with that page. And of course, you could put a little piece of lace along there would be could be also be nice. Or a little bit of, um, even a little piece of this. Isn't that beautiful? I wonder if here... We could cut that out and make it like a side tuck pocket. No, we don't have that much space. Or we could do it with that one. Yes, I think I would like that. That's what's happening over there. But as I said, you can do many variations. You could um, also have, um, you know, like a little notebook. You could stitch some pages down there if you wanted to. This is just one idea. One idea for you. I'm going to measure it in a second. So I've only really just touched base with this kit. It's just, I mean, there's plenty in there, isn't there? So that's going to go there. So what I will do is I'll flip it over and just mark on the back where I need to trim it off. and that's going to be my little pocket there and I need I'm going to just put a, a little semi semi punch there I just eyeball it and I'm going to Eileen's glue it I do like this big I'll tell you what I like about this glue and I think I told you the other day as well I like the fact that it's not as wet for this sort of thing as the PVA. Although the PVA would be perfectly fine with this because it's a heavier paper and the base is very heavy too. Okay. And I like the that colour there goes really well with the, the gold around the label too. Okay, great. Let's get the card. Oh, 
lots of blue squished out. Okay, so that's my little pocket there. And let's see. We're going to make a journaling card to go in. I think this one might be, that would be a very pretty journal card, or that one. So let's just cut this out. I just love the colours of this envelope and the writing on it. And I put this one in because I love those browns with the purple and um, and also the um, the stamp on there is purple too. Let's see. Doesn't quite fit that one. I don't want to trim it down. So let's see this one. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be very pretty. And now, do we have anything in here that... Oh, that would be pretty on there. What's left over? This one. No, not, I want this. Where's the paper? I saw the bird. Where's the bird gone? Oh, here. It's on, attached to this paper. Oh, we could put that on there. That's already cut out. But the bird, I would have to cut his tail off. You know, that upsets some people if I cut their tails off. And any one of these would look nice too. So I'm wondering, what, well, maybe I might tear this one. I'm not going to fussy cut it. I'm going to tear it. See if I like it. Okay, where will I start? I'm kind of going to go, well, as close as I dare. I won't be able to go right in. Oh dear me. <laughs> okay. I haven't even looked what tomorrow's is. Oh my goodness, I better. See, that's the thing. I have to be organised if we go out. Oh, and then we might, we may, our friend that sings, we may go and... He's back down from the mountains and we may go and have a pizza with him. Sitting outside. Oh, I love that. That's going to go on there. I really like that. I might put, I might put a bit of script. I don't know why I'm being precious about my script. I mean, I can print it out again. Sorry if I'm taking a long time, but I'm just figuring it out as I go. Now, let's just let's just have a little look and see if we like the script. We do, do we? Well, I think I do like the script. Maybe I like the script to go that way. No, I think I'll have it go that way. So we'll tear this white off because we like the torn look. I'll trim that because I'm that's going to be at the bottom. Glue that on. Oh, the clouds are coming over. I guess Lulu will... I hope she thinks to contact her dad because my phone's on airplane mode. Oh, there, there's the ladies. I call them um, 
the chicken ladies because they sound like chickens. Sorry, in a nice way. But they do, they cackle on all day. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> that just came out of my mouth. But I have said that to you guys before about them. Okay, right. So then I need... Well, I would love to put that on the back, but I don't know if you could write on that. I try to think, you know, can 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 someone write on it? You could write a bit on this. You would just have to go round the purple flower. I think I'll put that on the back. I like to use up, you know, what's sort of, what you know, the pages that I've printed up. It sort of makes sense to use what you've printed rather than... Uh, oh, and, and or scraps, of course. It always makes sense to use up your scrap. Isn't that pretty? Oh, S oh, Sammy and June. This is just wonderful. I love it. So I will stitch around that one as well. I don't think I'm going to put tabs on these things because they don't have um, a lot. Of, oh, I didn't make anything for the back of the pocket. Oh, I need to do that. Well, what I'm thinking for the, um, maybe a long skinny tag. So that goes in there. I'm not stitching anything. Oh, I need to trim it down just, is that going to close? Just, I might trim it just a teeny tiny bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Just a smidgen. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So that's going to go in there. Yep. And I have some, I need to make something there. You thought that I was going to end it now, didn't you? Well, do I have news for you? I haven't finished. I have not finished now all I'm going to do I'm not going to even decorate it I'm actually just I might even yep I'm going to make a narrow I probably I would only need one page of that but let me just see if that will fit in there yep just trim it down a little bit and how deep do I want it up to um, maybe set that's a good thing about book pay oh no I can't find the set where's the set I've lost it. I bet you guys can see it. Where's the set gone? Oh, there it is. Okay, chop that off. And now because this is printed on good quality paper, I probably don't need this to be double. I'll just rip it in half. This will just reinforce it a little bit. And I'm actually just going to glue this right onto the bit that I want. going to be that bit there hopefully I get it glue that down get my chopper try to be straightish ish Ish, ish. Oh, there's a nice piece to keep. Oh, yes, got it. Okay. And then I need to back it with... Back it with this. That bit there. Yes. Hopefully I don't do a boo-boo again. See how long things take, don't they? But it's fun. I'll just very carefully trim. And that will be stitched around as well off camera. And I'm just going to see if it's allowed to have a tab, yes or no. There 
very pretty. Okay, so I think I might cut it into the tag shape as well. And I am not going to put anything on it because I just don't want to cover up that pretty paper. I just think that'll be pretty behind. So no tab on that one because this is going to... Oh no, it's, I'm always going to close those flaps like that. That closes like that. And that will be like that, you see. How pretty is that? I mean, this is beautiful. I think this is beautiful just on its own. I might put a little eyelet in there and just dangle down something or... No, I'll put a little hole in there and... It can actually have a tab shooting out. I think it can. So let's just grab the crocodile and put a hole. Because I like the size of the hole that the crocodile does, but I'm not going to put an eyelet. I'm just going to do the hole. It's slightly smaller than the regular hole punch. So it's got something in it. We need to be able to see what we're doing. Now that you ladies taught me how to use it properly. There we go. I like the size of that hole. Don't know how big it is, but it's a good size. Okay, and then I'm going to put some lace through there. Not that one. I had another one fly. Oh, I forgot this paper. Oh, I did use a bit of this one. This is it. This one will be very pretty in there. And I will stitch it afterwards and I'll show you how I'll do it. I'll just put that through there, like so. Then I'll hold it up flat like that and then just stitch across. And then that will be like that. And that will peep out the top, you see? Yes, that's good. Okay. Now I've got a problem. This is, see, this is folding up a little bit. So I am going to trim a little bit more if I didn't go steep enough with my angle there. That's better. Yes, they're all good. Could put something on there if you wanted to. On that pocket. But I don't think I will right now. Because this video is going to be super long, as you know. Um, just looking to see what we've got. So that folds in there. I also need to think about the closure. Because you obviously want that to close, don't you? So I'm thinking I'm going to grab... I've got some navy blue baker... Baker's twine. Oh, my, my video is running out. Oh, I don't know if I'm videoing. Okay. Um, I'll have to end it off. I'm going to stitch the baker's twine. I'm going to stitch the baker's twine in the centre. And it will just tie shut. Like that. Okay. And I don't think I'll put anything on that side. So... There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope my video is going because I see it's on low power mode. Um, so we're going to have we have a genuine card in there, um, tag in there, pocket there, and you can put more things in it. And you could also decorate it if you wanted to. And then that closes like sorry, those flaps go in first, closes like that, and that will be in the center of a signature. So thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Just a minute. I don't know if I can turn it off. I can't turn it off. Guys, look away. I'm taking my phone out of the holder.